What's up, guys? We move, we coming to uh, world famous Memorial Drive. Memorial Drive in Decatur, Georgia. In between Stone Mountain and Decatur, Georgia. Exit 41. As you can see over there, that's the big prison right by the highway. None other than DeKalb County prison. Everybody know about that little county. Terrible. So we're getting off of the highway. Avondale to the left, Decatur to the left, and Stone Mountain to the right. We're going to go to the right. We want to hit Stone Mountain. And um, I'm going to walk y'all through the biggest Muslim neighborhood probably in the country. Predominant, predominantly African, East Africa. But there's a lot of African Americans also and a lot of white Americans. A little bit of everybody over here is a melting pot. And there's a bigger picture of the prison. Yeah, man, I spent five days over there for a dog on traffic ticket. So I, you can't see much because the light is a little shiny. But um, I'm going to show you all the Muslim community. One second. All right, we back rolling, guys. That's Memorial Drive. Beautiful view, man. That road, how it goes like in a big hill. That's beautiful. Georgia is a, well, Brunswick, I mean, uh, Atlanta is a really hilly, hilly city. And um, we're going down the hill, Memorial Drive. That's a world-class prostitution motel. <laughs> and we got a lot of crazy stories out here on Memorial Drive, man. This is considered the hood. However, um, there's a lot of Muslims around here that kind of changed this place for the better. Just like they do every Muslim community, like the West End in downtown Atlanta. All right, all of this is a Somalian Muslim community. This is their home away from home. They pretty much own everything around here or own a store in it, either way. Okay, they got, they, they got the banks. You got uh, um, bank here, you got the QT. You got the CVS. You got Sun Trust down there. All right, this little spot right here for all the people who know DeKalb County and know Stone Mountain and Clarkston, we're going into Clarkston now. And this is where all the shops at, all the halal shops, all the Zabiha meat, all of the halal pizza. Whenever you come to Atlanta, and if you're Muslim, you gotta come to this place. It's off of 285 East and Memorial Drive. And you take that more east, and um, you just turn to your left into the, it's called Clarkston. And there's a campus over here, a very big school that a lot of people go to. Let y'all see the streets. Big streets out here, you know. Muslims doing it big. That's Wells Fargo down there. Okay, Somalians at that. This is a Somalian community. First time I moved here was like 2003. I got married and sister was living over here. And we, um, I learned a lot about Somalians. I had stuff I never knew about Africa. This is how I realized that you know, African Americans have their own culture. We're not African. You know, they have their own thing. We we have our own thing. Just because we share the same bloodline or race, don't mean we could be classified as Africans. You know, but uh, waiting on the light. Okay, now we're pulling into the world famous Somalian Clarkston. Halal Campus. Halal Pizza is the landmark right here on the end. Man, you talking about a busy pizza place? I, you know, I ain't never seen so many Africans eat pizza in my life. All right. It's kind of busy today. Let's try to get in there. Okay. This is the center right here. This is where all of the sisters come and get their clothes during Ramadan. Everything up in here. This this is the square. This is where it's all at. See the hot sound, halal, halal meat. Let me pull you around here. You can't see with my cheap phone. Halal meat, that's where we get our meat from. 
They got all the good meat. What they got going on? That's where you get all the good meat. All the good meat. All of that. See that? That's where you get all your gear at. All the sisters, you gotta come out here during Ramadan. I saw the tax. Now I gotta wait on this guy to get through this traffic. Man, there's no traffic around here, no laws. <laughs> you get in and get out however you can, just like I guess in Saudi and Somali. So I like him. I'm the lad, big brother. Yeah, I'm the lad. On a third, on a third week of Ramadan. Yeah. I'll come on. We, you gotta tell me. I can't go get your bob. They got another one. International hall. They got all kind of international clothes. Oh, Buffalo say, wings. I can't say oh yeah. My mind I this is the spot, that. boy. I, we love this spot. I can't say my mind we used to live right down the street. Halal meat. See there, even across the street. See, Somalians can come here. And they can do what they need to do. Stick together to get these businesses open. You know, why? Because they're doing it for God. That's the problem with so-called black people. They don't do it for God. You got to do it for God if you want it to happen. That's the key. That's the secret. Daddy. Huh? Can we go to up there? Okay, this is the college right here. Okay, we got Peter Mont Technical College of Georgia. Right down the street. We used to live right in the back of this. Nice little condo called Brandon Hills. It's falling apart now, though. It's dead. All right, we're taking a long ride down the street from the uh, halal shops, and we're going to go to the masjid, where the Muslims go and pray. All of this is called Clarkston. All this belonged to the Somalian Muslims and Ethiopians and Etheria. Uh, where else? Um, all of East Africa is here. Ethiopia, everybody. This is how we used to get home every night. Memorial College Avenue. Beautiful trees around here. Our hood was down that way. It's tore up now. Now, that's the, uh, another complex there. Plenty of apartments around this area, too. This was like a real rush for all of the, um, um, Immigrants or the uh, what they call it uh, People who come to your country for help res uh, uh, Shucks huh? No, when, it's, when they when they seeking refuge when they come here refugees Okay, that's the um, Elementary school there This is a big place of refugees, but Fortunately the refuse the refugees were Muslims so they came out here, predominantly Muslim, and they bought up the place, and it's beautiful now. People come all over from the East Coast, from Philadelphia down to Clarkston. And we're about to hit the masjid. All this, Somalian people. See that, walking along, the kids playing. Now we're gonna hit the masjid. This is where the Muslims pray. That's the sisters, sisters building right there, and the brothers building here. It's pretty old, so guess what? They saving up some of that African money. Yeah, and I helped. And they building, they building a big match there right help. behind us. See that? I helped. And my I son, yup, Tahid helped build. He helped fund. He helped um, say um, raise money for it. He did a boxing, a boxing ex 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 exhibition, and oh, people yeah, paid. I forgot about that. Yeah. And people paid. Yup. So, uh, what time is it? Time for salat. Yeah. So I'll be back with a part two. And we're going to go to Stone Mountain and see what it looked like up there. Everybody love Stone Mountain around here. Peace.